another ceiling, done. That's the idea, you gotta get it done in one day. Tomorrow we cut that little bit of cornice back a bit further. Run like the cornice that way, that way. Cornice dries really fast. So we'll be able to paint the same day. So we're gonna heat gun all of this, throw the cornice up, cornice up in the bathroom, heat gun everything, sand, and I'm gonna jump onto the painting with James and Eugene can sand and help clean up. Two days, baby, two days. We also had to redo this because they had to access some pipes behind this bathroom. So yeah, internals looking beautiful. Big butt joint. Now we paint this wall and that wall. We've stayed off the ceiling. And then in here, we've got a cornice to go on. We've got to still prepare some of that cornice line there. And prepare that. We've got one stick of cornice going right through. Um, yeah, a bit of a sand off. Paint the ceiling, paint all the walls. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna sand and paint this one. Putting the, just putting the undercoat on. This is a very important coat. I like to roll this myself, make sure there's no defects. Good undercoat will hide imperfections in the plaster as well. Good back roll as well. If you just spray over the top, it's not going to hide many imperfections, if any at all. But a back roll with a nice roller will hide it. It will make every surface uniform. The plaster joins the drywall paper, it'll all be continuous and increases the chance of it blending. So if you're doing, if you're ever going over fresh drywall, then use a roller. Or not, it's up to you. But if you want to get a better blend, you do it like this. See here, a nice consistent coat over the top. It's going to hide everything. Another little tip is that joins here, but you definitely don't want to just stop rolling there. Send it right over. Help blend it.
that's it. That's our patch. And then the plan is we're gonna we have fresh corners there and there. So we're gonna we've already cut everything in with the ceiling paint, so everywhere else is good to go. We're gonna cut in with the ceiling paint there. We're gonna roll this with the ceiling paint, and then we're gonna cut in again from there to there, then we're gonna roll a whole lot. So this area gets three, and the rest gets one blended into it. And that's it. And that's how you do it. Just doing the final coat through. Nice long even strokes. Yeah, just chuck it in the uh, don't worry, hold it, just chuck it in the toolbox. Just roll it up. One more dip. One more dip, last dip for the week. On feet. Oh yeah. Should only be two dips down there. Yeah, only like, not many dips at all. Yeah.
crushed most of that in there. Oh, oh, oh. That's it. All done. Let's see you do it. You can't do it as fast as us. This is less than two days. Oh, oh, Plus we got more. Oh, oh, oh. Did more. Come and have a look. That's it. All undercoated. Scooting wood back on. Internals all dry. Because we get the heat going for 20 minutes. That's all done. And in here, all done. But the roll on the coat. But I don't know if you saw before, it was real scrappy. This is a new piece of corners. Two days, sight unseen, we weren't even ready. We just knew what we had to do. We didn't even have any measurements. I even had to drive into town and get some timber. And we still got it done, two days, start to finish. So this is really the end of the video. <laughs> I said before, didn't I, James? Yeah. But this is it. Thanks very much. See you uh, next job.